When I was pregnant with my firstborn, my husband and I decided that we didn't want to find out the sex of the baby. We thought there are so few surprises in life, let's have this be one of them. Of course, people thought we were crazy or we were old school, but that didn't bother us one bit. We were stern not to know our baby's sex. Then one day in my quiet time, I heard the Lord say, do you want to know who I put inside of you? If you trust me, I'll show you. So I positioned my heart in a way to receive what God wanted to tell me. And he told me that I was having a boy and that his name would be Elijah. Then I asked the Lord, do I just keep this for me or do I tell the world? And he said to trust him and tell everybody so that he can get the glory and people will see that he is a promise keeping God. Sure, I had a moment of doubt, but just a moment because I knew that I knew that I knew that I knew <laughs> that my God delivers on his promises. He's never let me down and he wasn't going to start now. So I told everyone I could, many of which tried to tell me I was insane, but that just fuels me even more. I was on a mission to tell the world that my God will come through on his promise to me. So about a month before my due date, the Lord told me to go to Facebook and write a testimony of exactly what he told me before the baby came. Um, God, Facebook, uh, you know, like thousands of people are going to read that, right? <laughs> but that was the point because God was also testing my faith throughout all of this. So I did the thing that could have made me the laughing stock of social media. Okay, God, I'm trusting you. Don't make me look a fool now. <laughs> so Elijah was born, my little prophet, and it was still the greatest surprise imaginable, but not by the world's standards. I was surprised and overwhelmed by God's promise to me. Since Elijah was a baby, he's been captivated by rainbows. He would see them everywhere, even in his dreams. He would draw them anytime you gave him some crayons and a piece of paper. He's always known that God kept his promise when he gave him to me. The first rainbow God ever put in the sky was to signify his promise. And Genesis 9:13 says, I set my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. So the next time you see a rainbow in the clouds, think of Elijah and remember that God always delivers on his promises. <laughs>